As early as the 2018 PUBG Mobile Star Challenge, the Americas region had already made its debut on the world stage. So with the 2023 PMGC about to kick off, the region has a rich and storied history of international competition. So let's turn the clocks back to 2020 and take a look at the development of the Americas region. In the 2020 PUBG Mobile Pro League Americas Season 1 and 2, as one of the earliest teams to participate in PUBG Mobile Esports, Loops consecutively secured first place, becoming the most formidable team in Americas, and they only got stronger as the year progressed, clinching second place in the 2020 PUBG Mobile World League West. Your multiple time MVP wins the fight! Worth mentioning is Alpha 7, a newly established powerhouse that was officially formed in 2020. Despite the constant change in players, they stumbled forward, and finally, in the 2020 PMGC, Alpha 7 secured 9th place. This was their best performance since the team was formed almost 6 months prior. But this was only the start of the Americas region was about to witness their rise. 2021 saw Alpha 7 replace Loops as the top team in Americas. They showed extraordinary strength and skill throughout the year, achieving high rankings in multiple PMPL seasons. and in 2021 PMWI. They won first place in the West Division, setting the best record for the Americas region at PMWI. With momentum they carried, fans were excited to see what they could do in the 2021 PMGC. However, in esports, things don't always go that smoothly. Teams from all around the world battled fiercely during the 2021 PMGC. Even on the final day of the Grand Finals, there was only a small difference between the top teams. And in the end, Alpha 7 ranked ninth with 139 points. However, 5th place team D Xavier were only 4 points ahead of Alpha 7, showing how razor thin the margins of success were. And in this game, every point matters. The PMGC this season, it was a little bit harsh in the Grand Finals for the, for the Americas teams. But in the group stage of the West League, Rise dominated and got the first place. Not only Rise from Brazil, but Alpha 7 also got the second place, almost tied with Rise. And in the end of the West League, only Furious Gaming and Alpha 7 got qualified though. But it wasn't the Grand Finals of the PMGC we wanted, but it was the Grand Finals we needed to get better the next year. The start of 2022 saw another Brazilian team, Influence Rage, overpower the Kings of Americas and Alpha 7 in multiple tournaments. In the spring and fall competition of the PMPL Americas Championship, Influence Rage took back-to-back -back first place finishes with Alpha 7 always coming in second place. While everyone's attention was on the rivalry, Inco Gaming took away the first place in 2022 PMPL Brazil Fall and came third in 2022 PMPL Americas Championship Fall, becoming the next Brazilian team to head to 2022 PMGC. As a highly anticipated 2022 PMGC ensued, Alpha 7 regained the momentum. Despite failing to break through the group stage, they fought through the survival stage and outlasted the competition in the last chance stage, finally ending the Grand Finals in third place. Will he be able to find the second player beating? No! Carrillo just is able to step out, get the spray, and Alpha 7 take the chicken dinner! The best PMGC performance in the history of the Americas region. Another Americas team, Inco, also broke in the top 10 with a 7th place finish. The rivalry between Influence Rage and Alpha 7 is so big in the Americas region that after Influence Rage qualified directly to the Grand Finals of the PMGC 2021, people thought that Alpha 7 was going for the same path. But instead, they went for the survival stage and they survived the last chance, alongside Inko, who qualified for one point of being disqualified, of not going to the Grand Finals. They went there and the Brazil got the third place. Alpha 7 conquered the third place in the whole world. We went there and we have the biggest representation in the whole world. So our expectations for the PMGC 2023 is the biggest. But we, I guess we all have to wait and see how it's going to be. As the 2023 PMGC is about to commence, we're going to see even more teams from America's region take the stage, such as Team Queso, who also took part in the 2019 PMCO, and high-performing squads Intense Game and N-Hyper Esports. With continued growth in the region and teams hungry for victory, it remains to be seen whether Americas can make their mark in the 2023 PMGC. Let's wait and find out.